video responses first. Hang on. So I am completely defeating the purpose of your what if by creating this video response. But here's why. I feel like the whole point of this vlog is an interesting, interactive, consistent way for us all to keep in contact with each other. So I really like hearing people's responses to my videos and I really like responding to theirs because I feel like I'm communicating with them. I also feel like by responding to your videos I bring up random thoughts, questions, or concerns that are new things and not just me being like, I liked your video, although I do that a lot too. But I totally respect you wanting us to include more interesting slash event things in our videos. Also I'm realizing the problem with comments is that we don't really get notifications for them. Like, Google Plus is not really a thing, and I use my own YouTube account and not the Lincoln Vlog one. I'm not really sure how we can fix this, though. Any ideas? Also, I'm not sure if we can be friends anymore, because you didn't immediately steal me Sinatra the White Alpaca. Those were alpacas. Trust me, I know the difference. Matt, where did the band named three former butlers named John come from? Oh, you're forgetting Roland Abe and the gang which was a band with none of those people in it. Although, why we wouldn't want Abe in our band, I have no idea. Why are you being a highlighter for Halloween? Like, what inspired that? Your apartment looks really badass. David, so I got your package. I deleted the video of me opening your package. I totally recorded me opening it at 3 a.m. when I got back, and I just deleted it like five minutes ago. But I loved it, I swear. But I completely disagree with what you were saying in your video. I've had these things hanging in my closet for a week and they've never... Ah! Ah! <sighs> they do make you lose your biscuits. If I could talk to one animal, it would probably be a dolphin. I mean, I just kind of think that they would solve all our problems. Did you ever explore the idea that maybe you were so bad at card swiping they switched you to onion chopping? I mean, it sounds like a demotion to me. So, Melinda loves Halloween. Like, it's her favorite holiday. And Halloween is a big deal when you're in grad school. Like, people coordinate and create costumes. And Melinda and I were trying to figure out why I hate it so much. Like, she's convinced I have this repressed memory from when I was a kid that made me hate Halloween. But I'm pretty sure I just haven't gotten over that one time you all were a train without me. It's fine. But what I really need is for you all to suggest some punny, creative, interesting, ironic costume ideas that I can make with something that I already have in my house. The first person to text me a viable and awesome answer will receive a care package from me in the mail. Good luck! And now, an original story by Katie. Once upon the future, there was an omnipotent penguin who lived in a space castle. He used to live on Earth, but he got so tired of all the humans and their melting the ice caps and polluting Niagara Falls shit. So, because he's omnipotent, he conjured up a space castle from thin air. That's what omnipotent means, right? This penguin and his telekinetic hamster sidekick were living in their space castle minding their own business when a drunken airplane pilot crashed into them. He fell asleep somewhere over Indiana, overshot Milwaukee, and ended up in space, creating a giant plumbing problem. That's what the Intergalactic Council calls accidents between commercial jets and fancy-ass space dwellings. Side note, the Intergalactic Council is actually full of corrupt gangsters plotting to make cotton candy the national food of Hermaglurgan. As punishment for crashing into the ice castle, the drunken pilot was sentenced to one anvil foot smashing. I told you, the council is corrupt. However, because this is the future, he got a robot replacement foot and joined the HACC, or Hermaglurgans Against Cotton Candy, to fight for the freedom of Hermaglurgans to choose whatever food they want. The end. If any of you were paying attention, there was one item that I just couldn't work into the story. I thought it would really throw off the continuity of the plot. So... This paper, this paper's blank.